put yourselves positioned for a boundless disaster of exceptional extents underneath the purple Goliath CB. Changed on the edge of our structure, it is passing on troubling messages through the universe. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have decided something fundamentally agitating about this critical huge body. As astrophysicist Brian Cox offers a grave affirmation, the inquiry weaving machines, we say we are on the slant of seeing an unfortunate, gaudy impact influence that may forever change the night sky. To the degree that we can be occupied, we ought to dive into the astounding woven craftsmanship of the universe where stars are thought about, live, and pass on in beautiful plans. One superstar has really gotten the creative mind and type of cosmologists and the public the same. This notable star is a red monster of gigantic extents and age coordinated obviously inside the amazing body. Its undeniable tanned variety and intricacy have for a really long time been a wellspring of interest. Later advancements have supported interest in this great monster. As we find the probability of an approaching awesome event in the current example of this star, paying little heed to what these activities may suggest, we may be on the cusp of seeing a perpetual presentation of unbelievable scale. More than our child, it is a sublime behemoth. Its full enormous size is almost past human ability to get a handle on. Imagine a star so enormous that if it were to displace our sun, its surface would extend past the circle of Mars, overwhelming Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its eminent hug. This isn't simply an uncommon presentation of the star's genuine characteristics, but in addition tends to its stage in the brilliant life cycle. As a red very Goliath, it is in the nightfall of its presence, a phase portrayed by expansion and cooling following a lifetime spent combining hydrogen into helium in its center. However, what might be said about the age of this megastar? Estimated to be around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years of age, it is moderately youthful in human terms yet old concerning heavenly lifetimes. It is in the red Goliath stage, a consequence of millions of long periods of heavenly advancement set apart by significant changes and cycles that have changed it from a hot blue star to the red monster we see today. The current case of stars like this one is a story of improvement driven by the consistent powers of atomic combination and gravity. Its sketchy bronzed variety is another sign of its constant stage. The red tone is a consequence of its to some degree cooler surface temperature contrasted with different stars like our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 K, this star's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature gives the star a red appearance. However, this tone isn't simply a visual element. It gives scraps of data about the star's condition and the cycles occurring inside, adding to the star's character. What further enhances its identity is its variable nature. Old Roman and Chinese works recommended that about a thousand years prior, it became yellow. It was in the 900 years that Arabic cosmologists initially portrayed it as red. This variety shift over human history isn't just a detail in the annals of cosmology, but also a sign of the star's tremendous changes. The variable brilliance of the star is another spellbinding viewpoint. It is a semi-standard variable star, meaning its light periodically fluctuates. This changeability is a grandiose dance of brilliance that has captivated stargazers and skywatchers for hundreds of years. Typically, the star undergoes a multi-day cycle alongside a longer cycle that stretches around five years. These cycles were recorded as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and likely even earlier in local oral practices. What makes this star mysterious isn't simply its changing brilliance, but its unpredictability. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, it inconsistently strays from its rhythmic darkening and lighting up, illustrating unpredictable and less understood processes happening inside its structure. Recent discoveries have caught the attention of cosmologists and stargazers universally with a captivating change in its appearance. An event known as the Extraordinary Darkening occurred in late 2019 when the Red Very Goliath, one of the most striking stars in the night sky, began to diminish mysteriously. The star's diminishing was pronounced to such an extent that it began losing its shine at a significant rate, reaching its lowest brightness in February 2020. Normally visible to the unaided eye even in light-polluted areas, the star became observably fainter, a change detectable even to amateur spectators. However, 
There is one challenge with attempting to figure out the events of this star. The time oddity. When we notice a star like this, we are not seeing it as it exists in the present but as it was in the past. Due to the time it takes for light to travel to us, in this star's case at around 725 light years away, the light we see today left the star almost seven centuries ago. This defer makes it challenging to predict and make sense of unexpected changes in a star's behavior. As we are essentially looking into its past, the extraordinary darkening event filled in as a delineation of the innate hardships of cosmic observations and the limitations of our insight while managing tremendous cosmic scales and the time peculiarities they present. This was firmly seen by Andrea Dupree, head of the Center for Astronomy at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team. They used Hubble to dissect the star as part of a three-year study to examine variations in its outer climate. These observations provided outstanding insights into the dynamics of a variable star like this one, which regularly expands and contracts, causing changes in brilliance. Hubble's aversion to light allowed the scientists to examine the layers above the star's surface, which were warmed essentially by the star's wild convection cells. Further investigation of the Hubble spectra taken at specific points during 2019 and 2020 revealed the movement of material in the star's outer climate particularly the spectra focused on magnesium lines, which are typical for celestial conditions. These observations showed material moving at speeds of around 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its outer climate. This hot, dense material eventually extended thousands of miles from the star and formed a cloud that caused the star's diminishing. Dupree and her team estimated that twice the normal amount of material from the star's southern hemisphere was lost over the three months of the eruption. This mass loss was significant, especially since, like all stars, this one regularly loses mass but at a much higher rate than our Sun. The size of this mass launch and the subsequent dimming sparked conversations among cosmologists about whether this event could be a forerunner to an enormous blast. The vicinity of the star, around 725 light years from Earth, adds to the interest as such a blast would be visible from Earth and provide a great opportunity to witness a grandiose event very close. However, this still has yet to be addressed conclusively. What does this event mean for our understanding of the universe and its celestial phenomena? Could this be a sign of a supernova, a catastrophic event that marks the explosive death of a massive star? Supernovae are among the most powerful events in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy and synthesizing elements crucial for life, such as oxygen and iron. If this red supergiant were to undergo a supernova event, it would likely briefly outshine an entire galaxy and become visible across vast distances, potentially even during daylight on Earth. The study of such events not only contributes to our understanding of stellar evolution, but also provides insights into the composition and dynamics of the universe. Supernovae are essential for dispersing heavy elements created in stars throughout space, enriching future generations of stars and planetary systems. For astronomers and astrophysicists, Studying stars like this red supergiant offers a window into the final stages of stellar life cycles and the cataclysmic events that shape galaxies. By observing changes in its brightness, spectral emissions, and mass loss, researchers can refine models of stellar evolution and better predict the behaviors of similar stars in the cosmos. Moreover, events like the extraordinary darkening of this star highlight the importance of long-term observational studies and the capabilities of advanced telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope. These instruments enable scientists to capture detailed data and analyze complex processes occurring millions of light years away, providing unprecedented insights into the workings of the universe. As our understanding of stars and galaxies continues to evolve, each new observation and discovery adds to the tapestry of knowledge about our place in the cosmos. The study of cosmic phenomena like the red supergiant and its potential supernova event not only fascinates us with its grandeur, but also deepens our appreciation for the intricate mechanisms governing the universe's vast expanse. In conclusion, while the future behavior of this red supergiant remains uncertain, its recent extraordinary dimming serves as a poignant reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. By continuing to explore and study such celestial events, scientists are poised to uncover more of the universe's secrets and expand humanity's collective understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Diminishing occasion mean for the star's future. Is it an indication of a looming cosmic explosion? Or, on the other hand, 
just an exceptional episode in the star's long and complex life. A few hypotheses have been proposed to make sense of this surprising change. One conspicuous hypothesis proposed a stage in the cosmic explosion process, a speculation that builds up forward movement due to the inescapable conviction that the star is approaching the finish of its life. Another critical hypothesis involved dust, perhaps from the actual star. Like other red supermonsters, it is remembered to shed material, and it was trusted that this material could shape a residue cloud thick enough to impede the star's light from our point of view. A third clarification thought about changes in the star's photosphere, the noticeable external layer, which could influence its evident splendor. Further examination utilizing different observational strategies disentangled this mystery. Spectroscopic tests showed a drop in the star's powerful temperature, proposing that the darkening could be due to a weak spot on the star's surface. This hypothesis was upheld by perceptions that the star's temperature diminished by around 170 Kelvin around the hour of the darkening, highlighting huge changes on its surface. Ultimately, the key to grasping this vast peculiarity came from Hubble's perceptions. They uncovered that the darkening of the star was probably brought about by a monstrous discharge of hot material into space. This material framed a residue cloud that darkened part of the star's surface, altogether diminishing how much light contacting us. The residue cloud was said to have begun from particularly hot plasma catapulted from an enormous convection cell on the star's surface, which went through its hot environment to the cooler external layers. As it cooled, it shaped dust grains, making a cloud that impeded light from about a fourth of the star's surface. Hubble's bright spectroscopic perceptions, which started in January 2019, were vital in recognizing the arrangement of occasions paving the way to the star's darkening. These perceptions gave proof of imprints, warmed material traveling through the star's climate in the months paving the way to the darkening in December 2019. A few ground-based telescopes likewise noticed the star darkening in splendor, particularly in its southern side of the equator. This material, at first more significant than the star's commonplace outflows, at last caused the development of a foreboding shadow as it moved outward and cooled. The speculation was that this catapulted material and the coming about shadow caused the star's unexpected diminishing. The size of the discharge is for sure unprecedented, putting the star into a huge spotlight. The star removed and expected 100 multiple times the mass ordinarily shot out in a commonplace heavenly explosion. This mass launch, noted to be on numerous occasions the mass of our moon, was a huge occasion for the star and for how we decipher heavenly mechanics. Anyway, how should such a huge discharge of material influence the star and cosmic explosion speculations at large? The suggestions for cosmic explosion speculations are basic, as current grasping sets that red super goliaths like this star lose mass at a moderately unsurprising rate before the hazardous finish of their lives. Not persevering through the size of the discharge confuses this conviction, recommending a more violent and maybe capricious finish of life stage for these stars. Might the star at some point close the edge of a cosmic explosion? The inquiry presents a likely gamble inside the enormous vicinity. While the timing of such an occasion stays questionable, the late mass discharge has positively moved the discussion, demonstrating a more up and coming end than previously thought. Speculations currently wrestle with the ramifications of such huge mass misfortune and what it means for the star's strength and future. Yet, as the inestimable local area anxiously watches the star, another critical occasion catches our consideration and offers a nearby glance at a cosmic explosion, SN 2023 ISF. This cosmic explosion happened in the world known informally as the Pinwheel System, situated around 21 million light years away. Seen in May 2023, SN 2023 ISF fills in to act as an illustration of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe, where stars carry on with their lives in a tremendous pattern of creation and destruction. As we keep on unwinding the secrets of the universe, this star stays a significant wellspring of disclosure, giving bits of knowledge into the inward functions of stars and the powers that shape our inestimable scene. The future of the red very monster, as we dive further into the new occasions and qualities of this red very Goliath, we should think about the likely future situations. The star's gigantic launch of material and the resulting diminishing have given significant information that could reshape how we might interpret the last phases of heavenly advancement, potential cosmic explosion. 
One of the most captivating potential outcomes is that this star could be approaching the finish of its life, coming full circle in a dynamite cosmic explosion. A cosmic explosion is a galactic occasion that happens during the last developmental phases of a massive star's life, set apart by one last titanic blast. Such a blast would eclipse a whole world for a brief period, delivering gigantic measures of energy and adding to the improvement of the interstellar medium with weighty components. The new mass discharge noticed could be an antecedent to this devastating occasion in the existence of an enormous star. The cosmic explosion stage follows the depletion of atomic fuel in its center. The center breakdowns under its gravity, and if the star is gigantic enough, this breakdown sets off a cosmic explosion blast. The material launched out during this occasion improves the encompassing space with components that structure new stars and planets, heavenly elements, and flimsiness. The noticed anomalies in the star's conduct, for example, the extraordinary darkening, show huge unsteadiness. This flimsiness can be credited to the complex processes happening in the star's inside and its external layers. As the star approaches the finish of its life, its center turns out to be progressively unsteady, prompting convective flows and the launch of material. These convective flows are driven by the serious combination responses happening in the star's center. When hydrogen fuel in the center is drained, the star starts combining heavier components in shells around the center. This shell consuming makes violent convection flows, which can prompt the discharge of material. These discharges, thus, structure dust mists that can cloud our perspective on the star, causing the notice diminishing. Astrophysical Significance The progressing investigation of this red, very monster holds critical astrophysical significance. By noticing the progressions in this star, Cosmologists can acquire bits of knowledge into the last phases of heavenly development and the cycles paving the way to a cosmic explosion. It is critical to grasp these cycles for building exact models of heavenly life cycles and for seeing the way of behaving of other monstrous stars in the universe. Observational Method Current observational methods have been vital in uncovering the secrets of this star. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST and the Hubble Space Telescope have given high-resolution information that permits stargazers to concentrate on the star's air, surface temperature, and material discharge in remarkable detail. Ground-based telescopes have supplemented these perceptions, offering a more extensive perspective on the star's fluctuation over the long run. Ramifications for Heavenly Models The information gathered from the perceptions of this red, very Goliath is currently impacting heavenly models. Conventional models of red supermonsters and their life cycles are being rethought considering the new discoveries. The unforeseen mass launch and the star's emotional darkening suggest that these stars might go through more unpredictable and rough changes than recently thought. More extensive effect. The possible cosmic explosion of this star too has more extensive ramifications for our comprehension of the universe. Supernovae assume a significant part in the vast cycle of issue. They are answerable for making and scattering components heavier than iron, which are fundamental for the development of planets and life. By concentrating on the star, we gain a more profound appreciation for the interconnected processes that shape our universe. And the red very Goliath at the heart of this study proceeds to enthrall space experts and general society the same. Its new way of behaving has given an abundance of data that difficulties existing speculations and opens new roads for research. Whether this star will end its life in a spectacular cosmic explosion remains to be seen, yet its story is a long way from over. As we plan ahead, preceded perceptions and progressions in innovation will without a doubt uncover more about this cryptic star and its place in the grandiose embroidery. For the time being, we can just watch and stand by, expecting to observe one of the universe's generally emotional and sensational occasions the demise of a star and the introduction of another period in our comprehension of the universe.